Hey guys, Christine here, and I'm just one soul dedicated to lift, uplifting others in hopes of bringing you a little guidance and clarity that's going to help you make some mindful decisions as you navigate along your path. And I have no idea why the lighting keeps going in and out, but we're just going to go with it. So I hope this message finds you doing well. Let's see what the universe, guardian angels, ancestors, and spirit guides want you to know. All right, so the first card is embracing enthusiasm. Shout out to the heavens with happiness. This is about being able to wake up and be excited for a new opportunity to create in life, to allow yourself to just go with the flow and know that every day there is something to look forward to, something to learn, and something that is going to bring you wisdom and clarity as you move forward, right? And the next card is traveling lightly. Um, simplifying your life. Remember, sometimes our minds can make things way more difficult than they really are. So allow yourself to make things simple. You ever hear that saying, keep it simple, stupid, right? Keep it simple, stupid. Sometimes if, when we try to complicate things too much, it makes them, it muddies the water. It muddies the water. It makes it more difficult to than it has to be. And when we allow ourselves to just re release things and see things that it doesn't have to be as hard as we're making it that sometimes we tend to throw a little chaos into something because if it's not chaotic then there's something's got to be it's not going right it's just too good to be true if it's going easy remember it doesn't always have to be that difficult but make sure you lie back and watch the clouds lie back and relax Make sure you're allowing yourself time to rejuvenate your energy. That some all work and no play makes for a really bad day. And you want to make sure, and also when you're allowing yourself to really enjoy the beautiful things that the universe has to offer. Remember, we can work, work, work. Working hard doesn't always mean that it's going to bring the results. It means, you know, you might have determination, ambition, but if you're not allowing yourself to rest, are you really allowing yourself to find the joy in the work that you're doing? Because what you really want to be able to do is enjoy what you're doing. Because when you enjoy it, people can see that. And when you are allowing yourself to radiate that kind of love or something, it, it, it's attractive and it brings things back. So, you know, don't try to make things too difficult. Keep them simple. Keep them relatable. Keep them, you know, keep your mind in a place where, okay, you know, things are going really good. And maybe it's, it's just going good. Don't try to muddy the waters by making it something that it is not. So let's see. So in the past, you might not have been feeling like you're very happy. You might have been in a place where you were experiencing a little bit of loss, you may be at the end of a relationship or an end of a cycle and you weren't really happy with your situation. Things were not going very well. This could even be that you were going through a breakup or divorce, but ultimately this was, you know, you were not happy in your situation and you knew something needed to change. What are the present influences? Oh. So the present influences, you know, is to stay positive stay positive allow yourself to lean on people that lift you up right you want to stay positive keep your mind in a good place allow yourself to be lifted up by um around people that are going to help you stay in that higher vibration that are going to encourage you and this is also about taking time to really celebrate allow yourself to have a little fun allow yourself to have a little bit of fun um not, remember, like I said in the beginning, all work and no play makes for a really bad day. I think I have a card that slipped over here while I'm seeing things. I thought I saw a card. That's so weird. All right, maybe I didn't. So the future influences. Yeah, look at this. I see healing and rest. Through the rest is where you receive healing. It's where you allow the divine, like divine, the universe to really come in, provide you some clarity, allow your allow your mind to be at ease. That you know, the, this is not about a time where you want to work, work, work. It's also about being able to rest. So if you're you're feeling a little tired, you're feeling a little, because what you don't want to do is you won't don't want to experience burnout. If you try to work through the time where you're supposed to be resting, what happens is is that you forgot you forget where the joy is in everything that you do and then you start to experience burnout and that's what you don't want to happen 
because what we want to do is you want to be inspired and be create you want to have the ability for the energy for the creative inspiration right for you to allow yourself to really see the things that are being presented to you to allow yourself to understand that there are the universe is bringing bringing things in for you that um you you are you could be a dreamer you you know you might even be a little sensitive right now when you're not resting you find that you your emotions can be all over the place right um, but this is about understanding that it's okay to it's okay to be a dreamer and to want to chase your dreams but you need to make sure you're taking time to rest so you can get that clarity um what can you do outside outside influences outside influences so the page of pentacles in reverse this is about allowing people or places or things to keep you from fo being focused it, it's about bringing a scattered energy it's about allowing external forces to really influence um what you're doing i have no idea why my light keeps changing but i'm just gonna keep rolling with it it doesn't normally do this and i've already re yeah we're going to go with it. Um, but the Page of Pentacles in reverse is about understanding that, you know, rest doesn't always mean you're being lazy, right? It doesn't always mean you're being lazy. And you got to do things, you got to allow yourself to, you got to allow yourself to rest. I can't even, everything I'm seeing here is about Sometimes when we overwork something, we make it more difficult than it has to be. And when you allow yourself to step away from something, you'll find that when you revisit it, it'll make sense and something just kind of clicks and it's because you allowed yourself that time to rest, right? But don't do things because you want a return from it. I'm hearing that very clearly. Don't do things because you want a return from it. You want to make sure that you're, I keep hearing your power comes from your joy too. So I feel like when you get to a place where you are working and you experience burnout, that you might not feel the joy in the work that you're doing and therefore you're not able to, you're not wanting to do it. Yeah, and it will bring you out of a place of feeling unbalanced, feel like you're having to juggle some stuff. And you may be having to juggle some stuff right now. So if you're, I feel like maybe if you're building a business right now or you are building a new relationship or you're just trying to juggle the work-life balance, that rest is really important because you are taking on some extra responsibilities and these extra responsibilities are going to cause you to feel tired and maybe feel like you're having to work, 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 work. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but if that is the case, the answer is allow yourself time to rest. Scheduling is going to be very important. Um, allowing yourself a good routine will be very beneficial. Allowing yourself to keep your work, continue to keep your mind positive and cut any negativity out. And remember that all work and no play makes for a bad day. So make sure you're taking time to, you know, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Because if you're not enjoying it, are you really going to want to continue to do it? If this, if this message resonates with you, make sure to like the, and comment below, subscribe, and let me know um, what you think. Let me know what you think. All feedback is great feedback. Have a great night.